You know, I've always had a fascination with porting Halo content. There's something really cool about seeing assets from one game and being placed into another. In a way, it's what led to the creation of Installation 01. How would a Halo-like game look in Unity? What benefits could this bring? What challenges would present itself? These questions would continue to inspire me to this day, and has allowed me to learn so much about Halo and game development as a whole. I got a lot of positive feedback from my last video on the topic. Many astute viewers noticed I was using the Halo 2 Anniversary single player player model. Someone even reached out to me suggesting I do a tutorial on how to port the model to Unity. I thought this would be an excellent idea for a video. Ever since 2014 when the original Master Chief Collection launched, I longed to mess with this model myself. Every screenshot from the campaign highlighting it only made me want it more. It is an absolutely wonderful model. However, we had to wait 6 years until we had the chance to use these assets in another engine. Halo 2 Anniversary released alongside the Master Chief Collection on PC in May of 2020, and porting the Halo 2 Anniversary assets finally became a reality. This video explained the process of how I managed to port the Halo 2 Anniversary single player of Spartan into Unity. Part 1. How to acquire the model file. So, the first step in acquiring the model file is... Oh, hello Microsoft. I didn't see you there. What brings you... Oh boy. Oh, oh. oh right. Forgot about that. So, uh, per legal reasons, I can't actually show you how to acquire the model file itself. I will have to leave it up to you to figure out that part on your own. Although, I highly encourage owning a copy of Halo the Master Chief Collection for PC before doing any kind of porting. Now with that out of the way, the real part one. Set up the model files. Once you've acquired the assets, it's time to begin. You will need two essential components of the Spartan, the model data and the textures. Unity can read and import a wide variety of model formats, but the preferred model format is FBX. You can convert plenty of other formats by using Blender and export them as FBX. It also supports multiple image file types, but I personally recommend using PNGs for your textures. Now an optional component to have is a rig for your Spartan. A rig is a bunch of bones positioned as a skeleton for your model. This way you can easily import and or create animations while taking advantage of Unity's built-in animation tools. If you manage to find the asset with an already set up bone set, you're in business. Part 2. Importing into Unity Importing the model and textures in new Unity is pretty straightforward. You can find Unity at Unity's website to download. They have an application now called the Unity Hub, which makes upgrading Unity and managing project files much more easier than the old days. I am using Unity 2019.3 and the standard rendering pipeline for this port, as it is the most developed renderer and plenty of tools support it. Once your Unity project has been created, drag and drop your model into the Unity project window. Unity will import the model in a matter of seconds. You can then drag and drop the model into the scene view to get started. Scaling sometimes varies from program to program, but a good measurement trick I like to use is to create a cube, and then scale said cube to two units tall. The Spartan should be just about as tall as this cube. If it is not, go back to your modeling program and rescale the model before re-exporting. You can just use this scaling option on the model in Unity, but it is good practice to have everything scaled to one in Unity. When working with setting up assets in Unity, I like to organize everything neatly. You could just dump everything in the root folder and call it a day, but that's like the equivalent of a messy desktop. You don't want to be that person. I usually separate everything into their own folder because it just makes things easier at the end of the day. Part 3. Setting up the materials. Now we need to apply the textures to the model. To do this, we need to create materials for the model. But what is a material? According to the Unity manual, materials are used in conjunction with mesh renderers, particle systems, and other rendering components used in Unity. They play an essential part in defining how your object is displayed. Once you've created a material for each piece of the model, you need to assign the different texture types to each material. Depending on where you got your Spartan, it should contain these three important texture types. An albedo, a normal map, and a specular map. Halo 2 Anniversary's campaign uses colored specular physical based rendering, and the good news is that Unity has a built-in shader that handles that pretty well. Select the shader from the material and assign the textures to the corresponding spots. One thing you may have noticed is the reflections on the material do not exactly look correct. We need to go to our specular textures and switch the alpha source from input texture alpha to grayscale alpha. This should give us proper reflections on the materials that lined up with what we see from Halo 2 Anniversary. One important note I have to make is how the Halo engine uses normal maps and how to convert them to work properly in Unity. Regular tangent space normal maps from Halo are DirectX style. and Generally these work well in programs like 3ds Max, Substance, Nvidia, and Unreal Engine 4. However, Unity uses the OpenGL format for its normal maps. To correct this, 
Open up the normal map in any photo editing software that allows you to expose the red, green, and blue channels. Uncheck every channel except the green channel and invert the green channel. Save, and you should have the normal maps looking correct. And there you have it, the single player Halo 2 Anniversary Spartan all set up in Unity. It may seem a bit time consuming, but out of all the Halo content I've ported to Unity, this was the easiest. Now you may be wondering how I have this two-toned colored Spartan. My good friend Adora Burb made a texture set that allows you to have colors just like you could in classic Halo 2 multiplayer. In order to achieve this in Unity, we will need to write a shader. To make things easier for you though, I have left a link in the description to the shader for you to use. Bring the shader into Unity and switch the shader onto your materials to our newly imported one. You will see some textures have automatically populated certain fields, but you will need to apply a red and green color control texture to the corresponding field for this to work correctly. You can now set your colors to your liking. I'm glad to show everyone the step-by-step -step guide to porting Halo 2 Anniversary content. It was a great learning process, and I hope you learned something from this video. I'll be doing more content like this in the future, so keep an eye out for more to come.